back back to make some more music i've been in a real creative space lately i just finished watching the uh j balvez j balvez j balvin um documentary on amazon the dude is the dude is special man i really appreciate what he was saying about dealing with emotional and mental health issues, especially in the music industry. It could be a lot of stress and people just kind of look at those folks like they got all the money in the world. Why are they so like stressed out and whatnot? I suggest you go watch that, but it put me in a real creative space. So I want to do a little pop slash reggaeton slash just kind of cool vibe type of beat. I got a little bit of the drums already settled. Well, not really. It's got a kick and a little clap. Um, and then I just want to collaborate, uh, not collaborate, I can't speak right now. I just want to expand. I'm in a creative space, so I can't speak. Usually when I'm in a real creative space, I don't like to speak because I just want to get my ideas out. So that's why I sound like an idiot. Anyway, let's go. So I want to just keep building off of that. just want to add a little more... When I'm making these kind of beats, I like the rhythm to really be in the forefront and just really come out alive before I start adding any other instrumentation to it. So I like to just add a lot of rhythm and just complementary counter rhythms just to try to get a nice vibe going. Because in these type of beats, it's all about the rhythm. It's all about just getting the groove and making you feel like you want to move. So. That real quick. that go to the brush tool
little effect with LFO. All right, just keep building off of that. Keep going, let's keep going. So I'm just basically building the rhythm section again, like the reggaeton, pop reggaeton type um, energy is all about just building that rhythm. And then I'll come in with the chords, bass, melodies, all that stuff. But for me, I just feel like the real dope reggaeton classic records are the ones with like the most just dopest rhythms, especially nowadays. Um, it's not as traditional as it used to be with the reggaeton genre, but the pop influence stuff is just very rhythm based and rhythm heavy. So that's what I like to get down in the beginning. So I'm just going to keep going. Come up with a different drum set. Do like a nice counter melody at the back end with this. Do that nice little drag that rhythm right there. I wish it had some templates for this, but I guess you can swing it like this, the triplets.
Cool. Put a little bit of some 32 triplets in there. Bring back my LFO. Just this is my little cheat code on how to get that velocity in that in those little rows so it doesn't sound so sterile. Separate this out real quick. Put this kick. I think I'm ready to start playing, maybe with some chords. Let's see. Maybe I'll defy the odds instead of doing a chord heavy. Just do a melody heavy beat. I don't really like the hi-hat. Just gotta change that up real quick. It's kind of bothering me. Something like that. I 
if I slow it down just a little bit. See what that does. Can't really do too much melodies on the guitar like that. It just sounds kind of fake. So I won't push my luck. Trying to come up with a little chord rhythm section, kind of just complement what I've just played. Keep it simple for now. I messed up the ending part. Top line. That's my next video. I'm going to do top line. It's basically when you're making music or you write, you want to write to something, you kind of just do this weird little. You kind of just mumble and just come out with different phrases, but you record it and then you go back and you actually write words to it or you play an instrument underneath that um, arrangement. So I like to do that a lot just to get ideas. So if you hear me going, ah, 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 I sound like a crazy man, it's because that's part of the creative process, trying to top line, um, basically your top line, and then you write stuff underneath it, the bottom line. <laughs> it's kind of corny, but... Nah, it's 
is more than enough for that sound. I'm about to hit him with a pan flute. Take this down to like all the way in South America somewhere, like to Peru. That's the blown instruments. Thought they had flutes on this one, this instrument. Might be missing it. All good, let's go to alchemy. Look up. So the rhythm and the chords, really what you spend a lot of time in when it comes to the like this kind of um, genre is because you want to get that rhythm real tight and you want to get that the chord to complement and syncopate with that rhythm. So it's real important you spend a lot of time trying to get those instruments to mesh, that rhythm to match up, just to sound nice, coherent. Um, just rhythm and chords together and then everything else after that you put on top of it is just icing on the cake once you get those two things you're good flute sound over it, playing flute chords, then play with some more, let's see if we come up with a little, either one more chord texture on top of it or just a melody, let's see what happens. A lot of room too for the um, for the singer too, cause are you gonna sing to this or do like a little reggaeton rap? A lot of that has a lot of rhythm and a lot of space to it, so you gotta leave a little space. So it's a, it's a combination of getting that music right, but 
also leaving enough space. So it's it's a thin line between leaving it too empty and taking up that space too much. So it's a fine balance. I like that because the chord progression is going up in the scale and that melody is kind of going down. So it kind of makes this weird little arrangement. I don't know if I'm 100% happy with that, but it sounds pretty cool for now. do that ultra top melody on top of there too nah it's clashing too much sounded cool for a second but maybe something to complement this melody texture here
Let's see something. See if I have replay the flute. Not sure if I like what's going on there. See, sometimes it's just about playing with the little sounds. Bell. Bell is keys. out the sequence I don't want to get too stuck in there because then it's hard to get out duplicate this this off and then keep building on maybe switch it up over here
then I'll add a real soft melody to the bottom of this. I like that flu, but I also don't like it. I'm not sure if I should keep it or not, or just change up the sound. Maybe just the melody is wrong, but I'm really getting bothered by that. Let me listen to it one more time. Just come up with the bass. Sometimes you gotta just move away from something that's kind of bothering you to come back to it. So I'll get back to it in a second. off too <laughs> uh, that's the thing sometimes you start to feel it you're like oh shit I'm about to get it and then you kind of like just kind of dump on yourself All right, let's see over here let's try that again Just a little off by a beat. No, that's not it. That's 
because I'm playing. It's almost there. There we go. Gotta go right there. Nah, that's not it either. I'm missing that. You know what? I'm gonna keep everything. I'm gonna let's see what I played here. This is a that's a C. That work with the C. If I go back to the I just came from there, so it might work. Let's see. What is this here? Yeah, this is a C. This is a oh no, that's what I'm going from G minor to C57 to G minor. All right, so I gotta go back to to G. That's a big jump though. Let's go back down to G. Let's try it. Now which one's first? It's, it's G comes first. My bad. I'm kind of trying to figure out the harmonic situation here. It's the C first and then the G. I don't know. What did I say? G, C, G, C, G, C. Sometimes you got to get a little nerdy with it to figure it out. G, C. There it goes. gonna keep that really don't like that flute anymore it sounded good once upon a time but I'm not feeling it right now I'm gonna keep that for the hook. Nice little rhythm, bass, and then kind of elongate the bass during the verse. I forgot what I just played. Had it, got it. Something like that. Harmonize that last little chord. I think I like that.
get some LFO to give it a little bit of funk. Play with the filter. That a little more. Let's play with the PWM. Feel like I'm missing a melody, but I also had to be cautious of sometimes the singing is the melody. That's the mistake sometimes you can get when you're trying to produce. You just like over overdo it and then don't leave any room for any writing to it.
think is a stronger hook, and I think I need to change this up a little bit. the sauce mm. what are you doing right. you know what Let's see if I can get some strings let's go back to alchemy get some strings real quick uh, what kind of strings to choose Know why I did that? Oh. Like God, that shit went from like reggaeton to like just God. <laughs> I need a little mustacato. Got that J Balvin vibe right there. Like I said, I finished watching that documentary right before I started this, so got influenced by that. Got to get in touch with my Puerto Rican roots, even though the homie's Colombian. I give him respect, though, man, because reggaeton is heavily dominated by Puerto Ricans, and he just came on the scene from Colombia, Medellin, and it's just like, boom. That documentary is dope on Amazon. You should definitely go check that out. right there let's see what that sounds like Take this kind of like post intro and just bring it from the intro right to the verse. Instead of like intro, post intro, then verse. And maybe play a little bit of. That sounds kind of dope. I 
hit that wrong note right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hit the wrong note right there, and we got to change that. That's not in the scale, buddy. cheat code right here take this just copy it right here about the mixing right now. That sounds dope right there, but I'm not going to overdo it. I like it right there. So that sounds real dope. Damn, I didn't capture that though. Do that again. I like that call and response. It's like... Real hard string and then like a real nice little fluty pad sound. I'm kind of playing with this theme. I might have to kind of redo this chorus and yeah, shit, I might have to do that. That sounds dope. Maybe you know I could save this for a bridge. Cause it sounds kind of dope on its own. That's classic. 
flashing with this right here. Let's see something. There's too much going on with that high end flute. Sounds pretty cool. Let's see what that sounds like. That's just kind of, let's see. I like to again. I like to do a little top lining, even though I can't particularly sing. But just to top line it, aka mumble some words and melodies to see how an actual singer would sound on it. Sounds dope. If I could top line over it and it don't sound like it's too many things kind of just hogging in the way, then then I know I'm kind of in a good direction. I'm not a singer, so you know I have a different perspective as an actual singer artist, but as a producer and someone who can actually write songs, it's it's good to just do that to see if you know if, if it can breathe and you put yourself in the artist positions. Because sometimes, again, like, as producers, we just throw a ton of shit on there. We think it's dope, and then someone tries to get on there. There's like just way too much stuff going on. So just trying to always think that I don't want to pile too much stuff on there. I'm not even going to bring that into the second half of the song. Sing up in here now to start singing some hair. I feel like I want to hit it with the. You know what? I'm actually record myself doing that and then modulate myself. It sounds crazy, but I'm gonna fix it.
Damn, I had my thing off the whole time. What a move. What a move. I don't know how long that thing's been off, but it's been off for a while. So good. You don't need to hear me talk. Oh, I probably turned it off when I did the damn the noise for this thing. Yeah, it's been off for a long time, man. It's all good. Let's keep going. See if we can get some white noise over her. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sound effects. And we have any noise. Search all for noise. noise not what I'm looking for but that sound kind of dope right here to go but I might just say that for a break because I don't want to erase it just yet anyway I think that's it just got to arrange it a little better. Maybe, how long I've been on? Been on for an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, I could probably be on here all day if I let myself. But, you know what? Let me get another vibe check, play it from the beginning, and see if I want to keep going or just finish it right here. Sounds good. It sounds pretty good what I have so far. I think now I just need to get some some words to it and then kind of fill it out from there. Sometimes when you put more words to it, you kind of figure out what it is you need to put and take away. And right now it's just a big meatball, you know what I mean? But then you got to try to make it into some nice 
flavored meatball as you go and put more stuff into it. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. It's a big meatball, but then you got to make it into a flavor meatball. I mean, bitch, you should be starting out with a meatball that's flavored. <laughs> anyway, right now is a big ass thing of meatloaf and we're trying to get a meatball. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I meant to say. I'm not trying to say we're going to start out with a big ass, nasty ass piece of meat. Anyway, I got to just get off that meat analogy. <laughs> That's one of my tips right there, like you ever struggling to write something to a song, <clears throat> but you can mumble some stuff to it, record that. Record that mumble like that. Let's say if like I'm I'm doing this real quick. Like if I record that, right? Even though it sounds like me, I'm a little off key because I'm not a singer, but at least I can go back and put the words to that melody and the rhythm that I'm kind of just mumbling because that's the vibe that you're getting from the song. So instead of trying to chase the vibe again, like you already got the vibe, now all you need is words. That's called top line. Top lining or top line. They actually pay a lot of people to do that within the music industry. Most of them are really good writers anyway, but they um they come in and they top line to a song to see if it even has a vibe and then they can flesh out the song from there. I think I'm gonna finish up to the bridge part. I got an idea for that. This part. 
get a little more dramatic right before I go into the bridge instead of making it so empty like that. little bit of pop but then the kind of has a little bit of that afro beats which just makes sense i love afro beat i love reggaeton i love pop music I love hip-hop music boom bap music lo-fi music so i love all that stuff i don't know i'm one of those producers people be like well, you gotta be genre specific and only find one lane i'm like why <laughs> if you can market yourself and do a whole bunch of stuff really well i mean i'm not saying do everything but if you can do a couple things really well why not had an argument with myself for no reason. here i'm kind of making it think now that should i bring it in a little bit of this each of the hook or just leave it nah because if you do it too much then it's going to take away from that the coolness of it
that's it. I think that's it for real. Got the intro, got the verses, the hooks, the bridges, the outro. I mean, what else can I add to it? What? Maybe I'll just play from the top so I can add my little chapters and then call it a night. I'm out of here. I think that's it for me. That about wraps it up. I will catch you probably tonight. I feel like making a lot of music, so I'm going to just keep going with the streak. If not, I'll probably be back on tomorrow. Peace and love and hair grease and meatballs. Don't forget, when you're making beats, it's like making meatballs.
Want to make want to make sure your meatballs taste good. Yo, chill. I'm out of here on that one. She said meatballs. <laughs>